watching 7 Action News. Juggling the jackpot. Okay, so you got the winning ticket, right? What's the first thing you should do before you collect? Our financial expert has some important tips for you. Oh. A world record $640 million Mega Millions jackpot has people lining up for tickets across the country for a one-time shot at enormous wealth. So what if you win all that money? What would you do next? Well, there's a good question right there. We have financial expert Lyle Wolberg with Telemus uh, Capital Partners with us right now. First, Lyle, I've got to ask you the question as a financial advisor. Do you have a ticket? <laughs> I, I have my ticket. It's right here. You know, I think this is the winning ticket, actually. All right, so what's the very first thing you do if you do find out that you've got a winning ticket? First thing, mm -hmm. real important, that's breathe. Okay, <laughs> that, that's what you have to do first. But w what you want to do is pause. Mm -hmm. And a lot of mistakes can be made early on. I mean, one of the first mistakes you can make is start gifting and, and going to the uh, lottery department and saying that you own the ticket with someone else because that's a taxable gift. So the first thing is to pause, find a great attorney and a great CPA because their advice in this time will be invaluable and save you, in this case, maybe tens of millions of dollars. And so many people do this impulse buying, just go out and buy, you know, buy and buy and not really think about a plan prior to doing that. You've got to stop, like you said, and think. No impulse buying. No impulse buying. And planning is, is the second thing I would say, and that is um, the statistics show actually one in three lottery winners ends up bankrupt. 70% end up blowing through all their money. So what did, what didn't they do? They didn't plan. And you and I, we probably won't win the lottery. We know the we no, know the statistics. Second, I'm planning on it. <laughs> but you and I probably won't. But what we will do someday probably is get some money from a 401k or roll over some some money from an IRA. That takes planning too. So planning um, with this money and knowing what you're going to do with it. And there's a lot of great things you can do with it, but you got to plan out. Now, some people suggest you take some maybe just to blow, and then you take the other. I mean, you, may, you divide it into chunks, and you sit there and say, this is what I'm investing, this is what I'm blowing, and then... You've you know, got to set aside price. some blowing money. Absolutely. you got to have some fun with it, right? But what, what you should do, and I think if you look at the people who have won in the past, mm -hmm. what they, the successful people have had are gatekeepers. One of the gatekeepers is a person who is a friend, a financial planner, financial advisor who can say no. <laughs> Talk them down. Because everyone's going to come out of the woodworks. There's lots of bridges in, in, in New York that are for sale, I'm uh, sure, that are going to come out with ideas for restaurants and, and new kooky ideas that are always going to turn out great. You got to say no. Step Family members you haven't heard from forever. Yeah. Hello, it's your cousin Sue. A absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And it can put stress on you because you have to learn to say no. And, and I, again, we work with athletes and a lot of individuals who have come into money. And that's one thing they say to us is it's hard to say no to our friends and family. And it can change that dynamic. So you really have to be careful about that. Can you accept your winnings in Michigan anonymously? It's actually a good question. I, Michigan, you cannot. Yeah. Uh, some states you can. Delaware, I know you can. Uh, but there are some things you can do possibly to keep your, um, your profile low, uh -huh. as we say, because you are going to be contacted by a lot of people. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Well, we thank you so much for joining us and giving us some insight on what to do when we win all these uh, mega millions. Well, after I win, I'll come back. Okay? I was going to wish you good luck. <laughs> but, uh... It's important to remember to share. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, right, thanks so much for yes. your expertise. So all these people say they're going to be giving some away. And I said, me too. I'll give some to the Ferrari dealer. I'll give some to the yacht dealer. <laughs>